MJ! MJ! MJ, can you hear me? MJ, come on, buddy! MJ! It's the police! It's okay, buddy, come on! I got him, I got him, I got him. I got him, I got him. Go, go, go. Tonight, a three-year-old boy and his grandmother are reunited following a raging fire and this heroic rescue at their mobile home. The woman suffered severe burns and spent the last two months in a hospital. 12 News' Hannah Hilliard spoke with her today about her long journey to recovery. It's this moment. <laughs> Kimberly Guy has been anticipating all summer the moment she reunited with her three-year-old grandson. <laughs> Go get her! MJ. It's been a long road. How long has it been? Uh, just under two months. June 19th, a fire tore through the family's mobile home. As first responders rescued little MJ, Kimberly got out on her own, but with burns. I knew we were heading to freighter in the ambulance. I didn't know anything after that. She spent 10 days in a coma and a combined 57 days at St. Mary's Hospital and rehab. Third degree burn from here all the way down to my feet. What was the hardest part you Being say? away from my family. But now she's back with them. Come home and see her, make food for her, hang out with her next to her in the chair. And even though she lost a lot in the fire. It's literally all of my belongings. I started from scratch with that trailer. She didn't lose everything. I'm so thankful to be to be alive, to be home, to be with my family. Couldn't imagine not. Kimberly says she will likely have to use her walker for six to 12 months, but she's just grateful to be out of the hospital and with a roof over her head. Reporting in Milwaukee, Hannah Hilliard, WISN 12 News. Now, while in the hospital, Kimberly also tested positive for COVID. She had to quarantine for 21 days, which meant no visitors, but she says she never felt any symptoms.